AMPK is a very popular term in the anti-aging media, so let's have a look at what it is, what it offers, and what the trade-offs are, because, well, it's always wise to have all the data. AMPK, or adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase, to use its long form name, is yet another enzyme that plays a role in our cellular energy systems. It is basically a protein and its job is to send a signal and that signal is to repair and by redirecting the metabolism towards increased catabolism and decreased anabolism, it is signaling the body to use old damaged cells. AMPK plays critical roles in regulating growth and in reprogramming metabolism, and it has recently been connected to cellular processes including autophagy and cell polarity. When activated, AMPK stimulates energy generating processes such as glucose uptake and fatty acid oxidation, and decreases energy consuming processes such as protein and lipid synthesis. In conditions where nutrients are scarce, AMPK acts as a metabolic checkpoint inhibiting cellular growth. The most thoroughly described mechanism by which AMPK regulates cell growth is via suppression of the mammalian target of rapamycin complex 1 pathway. You see it evolved to respond to low energy situations. I did a video on good and bad stresses into which I went deep into this if you want to know more. In addition to regulating cell growth, mTOR also controls autophagy, a cellular process of self-engulfment in which the cell breaks down itself to ensure sufficient metabolites when nutrients run low. Activated AMPK acutely triggers the destruction of existing defective mitochondria and simultaneously triggers the biogenesis of new mitochondria, replacing existing defective versions with all new functional ones. There have also been links to our circadian clock regulation, and we know how critical sleep is. So how can you naturally increase your AMPK levels day to day? Exercise is perhaps the most powerful physiological activator of AMPK, as it is activated by low energy status, such as during exercise, and it regulates the metabolic process and energy homeostasis by switching off and on ATP consuming pathways. With your diet, look for omega-3s which have been shown to increase AMPK and get your polyphenols such as from non-starchy vegetables and fruits. It is the polyphenols that give them their colour. AMPK is also activated by fasting which is where rapamycin is thrown into the mix. AMPK is also able to be activated by drugs such as metformin, fenformin and salicylate. Metformin activates AMP indirectly by inhibiting mitochondrial function, whereas salicylate binds directly to AMPK. So here we have yet another easily hackable system within our bodies to keep ticking over our optimum. And it seems yet again that if you are eating a diet with lots of fresh produce, exercising a decent amount, getting good sleep, and occasionally starving the system to keep it primed and running efficiently, then you're probably doing a pretty damn good job. And one by one, we will slowly build up all the levels equally, and then we can start to think about a total system refresh. Or maybe that will not be needed once all the systems are running at optimum again. Maybe you will already be back in your prime. Anyway, it's all intricately linked and everything is essential. If you got this far, why not go and subscribe as well and maybe click the like button. And why not check out this video next. And if you have already seen that, try this one. Thanks for dropping by.